Tesla once enthusiastically announced that the Cybertruck would conquer an impressive 500 mile range after each charge. However, real world testing revealed a disappointing truth. The Cybertruck only achieved 254 miles, 21% lower than the initial expectations. Faced with concerns about range, Tesla rolled out a solution upgrading the battery pack to increase the range to 440 miles. However, the current battery design with half of its capacity empty raises doubts about the effectiveness of this measure. What calculations does Elon Musk have regarding the Cybertruck's battery? Why does the Tesla Cybertruck have a half-empty battery pack? During the disassembly of a Tesla Cybertruck, engineers discovered that somehow the massive battery pack had been left half-empty, a fact confirmed by the chief engineer. With a capacity of 123 kilowatt hours, the Cybertruck boasts the smallest battery pack among any electric pickup truck based on energy capacity. Instead, Tesla had proposed an extended range battery pack option to be placed on the bed of the Cybertruck. However, this equipment is not available, but now there's another data point to address this already complicated situation. During the disassembly of the unconventional pickup truck by automotive engineer and industry expert Sammy Monroe and his team, they found that the enormous battery pack of the vehicle had half its space empty, with plenty of room above a layer of cylindrical lithium-ion 4680 cells. It would be speculated that this space might have been left empty to accommodate a deformed battery pack in the event of an accident, ensuring that the lid doesn't touch or puncture the cells immediately. Another reason for this space could be that the pack might have been designed to house taller battery cells, but instead Tesla opted for shorter ones. The Cybertruck is known to use Tesla's 4680 cells, which are much larger, both significantly wider and taller than the 2170 cells that Tesla uses in some of its other models. It seems like two rows of 2170 cells could fit in the Cybertruck pack, stacked on top of each other since they are considerably shorter than 4680 cells. However, there appears to be insufficient space to accommodate 4680 cells there. If that's the case, it'd be a hassle. The big question is why Tesla didn't provide a larger battery pack for extended range, something closer to what was initially promised. There could be several different answers to that question. Tesla might have believed it would be too costly. Perhaps it restricted the overall production of the Cybertruck too much. Tesla may not want additional weight at all times, even when unnecessary, which is why they used a removable extended range battery pack. Wes Morrell, the Cybertruck's chief engineer, commented on the empty space saying it was half full rather than half empty. However, he admitted there is space there and we're curious to know the official reason for its existence. And that doesn't mean every Cybertruck will get a 246 kilowatt hour battery pack. And if it does, it'll have to pay. The 140 mile increase of the range extender suggests it'll be around 47 kilowatt hours and cost $20,000. So the other 123 kilowatt hours from the 4680 cells will cost more than two and a half times that amount. Of course, that depends on when Tesla decides to scale up production and how much they can reduce manufacturing costs at that time. The inside of the Cybertruck battery is also divided into four modules so that can be connected in series or parallel, depending on whether the vehicle is running or charging. This separate battery pack design allows the Cybertruck to operate at 800 volts but can also charge via a 400 volt charger. It can also naturally charge at an 800 volt level, but only through Tesla's V4 supercharger or a third party powerful charger. Most people agree that leaving space empty is a particularly strange decision when Tesla has announced an extremely cumbersome extended range battery pack that occupies a large portion of the truck bed to push the truck's range to an impressive 440 miles. However, it's still unclear whether this extended range pack will actually be tested to the market and when. In reality, customers have noticed that just after 10,000 miles, the truck can only drive 200 miles or more on a single charge. In January, the YouTube channel Out of Specs could only drive 254 miles on the highway, well below the EPA-rated 320-mile range of the truck. There are also other considerations, such as the additional weight of approximately 1,300 extra 4680 cells affecting the truck's performance and handling. But if Tesla could double the size, the Cybertruck's range could reach nearly 700 miles, 1126 kilometers, on a full charge. We still don't know why Tesla's engineers chose to leave half of the Cybertruck's battery pack empty, and all we can do at this point is speculate. Is it a technical compromise, a long-term decision design, or simply a cost-cutting measure? 
There are several proposals and hypotheses suggesting that Tesla may have designed the Cybertruck battery pack with additional space to accommodate different types of batteries. This flexibility would allow Tesla to switch between different chemical compositions and battery configurations within the same structural area of the vehicle. If Tesla indeed does decide to swap out the batteries for the Cybertruck, there are intriguing options to consider. For instance, the BYD Blade battery, previously used in Giga Berlin's Model Y, maintains a maximum charging speed of 172 kilowatts until reaching a 50% charge, which could benefit fast charging needs. Additionally, the Shenzhen battery from Cattle offers impressive features, including ultra-fast 4C charging and a range exceeding 700 kilometers on a single charge, using LFP technology to enhance safety. With Tesla's collaboration with Cattle and their upcoming battery production facility in Nevada, leveraging the advancements of Cattle could be a strategic move for Cybertruck. What do you think would be the best battery choice for the Cybertruck? Comment down below. The second reason is with Tesla's strategic approach. Filling only half the number of slots will provide good enough power to attract early adopters at an overly high price. This allows them to produce double the number of trucks with the same number of batteries. Then, as demand gradually increases, they can increase power and sell to those who are still skeptical and want a wider range. The option to expand the range is likely to be only offered to early adopters of the original truck because Tesla knows they're willing to spend more money than necessary. However, we believe it will be difficult for Tesla to increase the number of batteries in the Cybertruck because adding more batteries will prolong the manufacturing time and increase the cost of each vehicle. According to Joe Techmeyer's report in late 2023, Tesla used NMC811, 80% nickel, 10% lithium, 10% cobalt in the cathode material of the 4680 battery. They are currently transitioning to NMC955 in 2024, which may slightly affect the cost of the battery. The price of NMC811 in the U.S. is still around $114 U.S. dollars per kilowatt hour. Considering the 123 kilowatt hour battery pack of the Cybertruck, just the battery cost is approximately $14,000 U.S. dollars. Doubling the number of cells will double the battery cost to $28,000. To put this in perspective, with $28,000 U.S. dollars, you could buy three BYD Seagull cars, among the cheapest models from this Chinese automaker. That concludes today's exploration on the enhanced battery design of the Cybertruck. Before concluding, let's address the question posed at the beginning. How might the Cybertruck battery pack design influence future models like the Model 2 or Van? Both the Model 2 and Van are expected to be built on Cybertruck's chassis, as confirmed by Elon Musk, meaning they will incorporate similar design elements and technology stemming from the Cybertruck platform. This includes the potential application of a similar cooling strategy used in the Cybertruck's battery pack, as well as employing compartmentalized design methods. Furthermore, it's highly likely that the Model 2 will adopt a similar half-filled battery pack design inspired by the Cybertruck, but may utilize LFP batteries to reduce costs. How does the battery protection mechanism of the Cybertruck compare to other models? The Cybertruck battery's design incorporates crucial structural supports that divide the battery into four separate sections, enhancing its load-bearing and towing capabilities, a stark contrast to Tesla's Model Y, which uses thinner fiberboard partitions. Integrating Tesla's 4680 cylindrical cells into the Cybertruck's battery pack marks a significant departure from the initial expectations set during Tesla's battery day back in 2019. When comparing the Cybertruck to the Model Y, it's evident that the Model Y integrates more structural components within its battery pack. This design choice not only enhances the structural integrity, but also limits the ability to add additional batteries to extend the vehicle's range. The internal configuration of the Cybertruck's battery pack reveals a complex arrangement where the actual battery cells are positioned lower than the structural support racks. This arrangement suggests that the vertical load is managed more by the supports than by the cells themselves. There is speculation that the original battery pack design may have aimed to accommodate two layers of cells, potentially doubling its energy capacity. However, the current configuration optimizes structural durability over maximum energy density. Tesla's Cybertruck battery pack represents a significant leap forward compared to traditional electric vehicle battery systems. Structured with robust support racks that divide the pack into four main sections, it provides the necessary power for high load bearing and towing capabilities. This design stands out prominently from previous Tesla models, such as the Model Y, which used less intrusive partition strips. The Cybertruck utilizes Tesla 4680 battery cells, renowned for their large cylindrical shape and being a key component in enhancing Tesla's energy storage capabilities. 
Unlike previous Tesla models where battery cells support the structural load, in the Cybertruck, these cells are predominantly shielded by critical structural supports to efficiently manage the load. So, how would this mechanism benefit future Tesla models? By leveraging the pioneering battery protection mechanism introduced in the Cybertruck, upcoming Tesla models across various categories are poised to witness significant improvements in both performance and efficiency. This feature will be particularly advantageous for new models like the Model 2 Redwood, Model Y Juniper, and Tesla's van lineup, all of which stand to benefit from the integration of optimized batteries. Tesla's focus on cost reduction through battery innovation includes sourcing materials such as silicon instead of lead for the anode, along with implementing new manufacturing techniques to accelerate production and reduce energy consumption. Another crucial aspect of Tesla's strategy is the adoption of advanced battery chemistry components, such as transitioning from NMC811 to a higher nickel content battery like NMC955. This change aims to increase energy density and prolong battery life, translating to enhanced performance and durability across Tesla's new vehicle lineup. Tesla's breakthrough approach to battery protection in the Cybertruck not only optimizes energy storage, but also enhances the structural integrity of the vehicle and its load-bearing capacity. Looking ahead, can we be certain that Tesla plans to deploy similar battery protection mechanisms in upcoming models like the Model 2 Redwood, Model Y Juniper, and their van lineup? What updates has Tesla announced regarding Cybertruck charging in second quarter? Tesla Cybertruck owners have been vocal about their dissatisfaction with the sluggish charging performance of the 4680 cells when connected to superchargers. Despite Tesla's advertised claim that the Cybertruck can achieve 128 miles or 206 kilometers in 15 minutes, Drew Boglino, Senior Vice President of Powertrain and Energy Engineering at Tesla, recently announced a forthcoming software update aimed at significantly enhancing this speed. Beglino stated that the upcoming update will boost the Cybertruck's charging capability to a remarkable 154 miles 247 kilometers in the same 15-minute time frame, marking a substantial 20% improvement over the current charging rate. These anticipated enhancements are slated to be delivered through over-the-air OTA software updates, showcasing Tesla's commitment to continuous improvement and customer satisfaction. In the domain of drivetrain systems, the significance of software might not always be immediately apparent, but it holds considerable sway. Tesla has a track record of initially constraining the capabilities of its drivetrain software on new vehicles until confidence in the hardware is firmly established. Subsequently, additional functionalities are gradually unlocked through software updates, demonstrating Tesla's agile approach to optimization and innovation. Previous observations revealed that during a charging session, the Cybertruck achieved a peak charging rate of 255 kilowatts, followed by a swift tapering off. Charging rate decrement became noticeable around the 20% state of charge mark, gradually dropping to 150 kilowatts by 40% SOC and further declining to 100 kilowatts by 60% SOC. The rate then stabilized, maintaining at approximately 75 to 80 kilowatts, until around 90% state of charge or SOC for short. Tesla's responded to these observations by actively addressing the issue. Buglino confirmed that Tesla is elevating the charging curve of the Cybertruck to enable a range of 254 miles to be achieved in just 15 minutes. These enhancements to the Cybertruck's charging curve are scheduled to be implemented via OTA updates later this quarter, promising a significant improvement in the charging experience for Cybertruck owners. Presently, while Tesla estimates that up to 128 miles can be added in 15 minutes, the forthcoming improvements represent a noticeable 20% increase in range replenishment within that same time frame. This advancement underscores Tesla's relentless pursuit of excellence and its commitment to delivering top-notch electric vehicles that exceed customer expectations. With these enhancements, Cybertruck owners can look forward to a more efficient and satisfying charging experience further solidifying Tesla's position as a leader in the EV market. But Glino mentioned that the software update aimed at improving the charging curve of the Cybertruck will be released later this quarter. Unfortunately, he did not specify whether these enhancements will appear on the 4680 version of the Model Y, which also experiences a slow charging curve. Improving charging speed isn't the only focus. Tesla has also identified a software bug that causes issues when charging at very low SOC speeds, as highlighted by ex-user Kyle Connor during deep testing. Charging electric vehicle batteries at low state of charge SOC levels poses several challenges, such as reduced charging efficiency, battery identification issues, and battery cell imbalance. 
Research for the University of California, Berkeley, and insights from Electric have shown that battery charging efficiency can decrease by up to 30% when SOC is below 20%, resulting in extending charging times and increased energy wastage. Battery identification failures and battery cell imbalances are also concerning issues, especially at low SOC levels. This can lead to difficulties in initiating the charging process or inefficient charging, as well as decreased battery lifespan and performance. However, there are situations and solutions that Tesla can implement to address these challenges. By updating software and optimizing charging algorithms, Tesla can improve management and charging efficiency at low SOC levels. Enhancing information and support for users is also crucial, helping them better understand the charging process and optimize battery charging. Finally, regular inspections and maintenance help detect battery and charging system issues early, reducing the risk of failure and enhancing system reliability. Through these measures, Tesla can ensure a safe and efficient charging experience for its electric vehicle users, while optimizing battery lifespan and performance in the long run. In essence, the hidden chamber inside the Cybertruck's battery pack holds many intriguing and mysterious secrets. Tesla's working hard to refine and upgrade it, suggesting that there's much more to be discovered and improved upon. As they keep pushing the boundaries of electric vehicle technology, it's clear that understanding and optimizing the Cybertruck's battery pack is an ongoing process. With each improvement, Tesla brings us closer to unlocking the full potential of this groundbreaking technology, paving the way for a future filled with exciting developments and enhancements. We hope you'll experience the utmost relaxation after watching this video. If you do, please press the like button and join the Tesla Car World community by subscribing to our channel. Hit the notification bell icon to stay tuned for any fantastic videos coming your way. Your feedback and time are very much appreciated. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, stay safe and enjoy.